just about an hour or so ago, we had an earthquake of 2.8 magnitude strike. The New Madrid seismic zone area borders of Kentucky, Tennessee. It was a shallow earthquake. And this is the basically the area that was uh, affected. We see that black line there. That's the New Madrid seismic zone, which we, call, we should call a rift zone. And then you have that U-shaped thing above the Great Lakes. That is a mantle plume that has been there for about a billion years. This is a uh, Michigan crack from a very shallow and small earthquake, but you can see what such an earthquake can do, cracking the earth. And let's take this look at this. This is the magma underneath these areas. Again, the mantle plume above the Great Lakes is not shown. That mantle plume goes all the way down into New Mexico and then turns, makes a, a west direction into Arizona. So the mantle plume of the Great Lakes is not shown there. This again is the, the area. Let's take a look at the quake. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Here we are at Sizemore Berkeley. This is our earthquake a little while ago. This one here, we, you'll find the video before this one, the large 4.1 earthquake that struck Oklahoma, Kansas in the area of the Kansas area of the diamond spewing volcanoes, the Kimberlite volcanoes, you can see that in the video before this one. So this is what we're talking about. Very few people felt it. Um, I would venture to say it's 15 people because it's a mountainous area. I don't think anybody hardly lives up there, but uh, 14 people felt it. And let's go into the particulars of this. Uh, this is it right here, Kentucky, Tennessee. And this is our area. This thing here is a failed rift valley. As we can see, it starts from the Mississippi River, going this is the New Madrid seismic zone, and uh, this is part of it as well. These mountains, and it goes all the way up this way into Maine. We know Maine has five volcanoes, four of them are in a 100 mile area. And if we go into the beautiful area map, this is Maine, this is Maine and Boston right there, right there. Uh, of course, Massachusetts. But this is, these are 30 underwater seamount volcanoes. 30 pointing into this area here. Okay. These are the Azores over here, Mid Atlantic uh, Ridge. And this is the area that they show, don't show us that this is the mantle plume of the Great Lakes. Okay. The Kuinan Fault is all magma underneath. They don't know where it comes from, but they know that it goes down this way, this way, this way, and then turns that way. Okay, and this area is the uh, superior fault, and it once this area is spreading in the United States. At one point, this was much closer to uh, Wyoming, but this is of course spreading. Again, there's magma under there. But this is what we're talking about, the New Madrid Seismic Zone, which is a failed rift valley. Now, uh, of course, we don't feel those earthquakes that much. Tectonic summary. The uh, most North America uh, east and rocky of the Rocky Mountains has infrequent earthquakes. For, New, for example, the New Madrid Seismic Zone centered southeast Missouri, the clairvaux Kamurusaka Zone, east of eastern Quebec, New England, New York, Philadelphia, Wyoming. But most of the enormous regions from the Rockies to Atlantic can go years without a large earthquake. But these earthquakes, east of the Rockies, earthquakes can be felt over an area more than 10 times larger than a similar earthquake on the west coast. It's not unusual for a magnitude 4 quake to be felt 60 miles from its source. 
Now we don't know where most of these faults are because they're so old and few few earthquakes east of the Rockies and they could only identify the faults after the quakes um, do hit. Here they talk about induced seismicity like man-made uh, you know, fracking, but they do not talk about the uh, Coenan fault. They don't talk about this mantle plume here, which was about 800 and some uh, odd million years ago, okay, when uh, the Earth was totally different looking. And here we are. That's it. Now, let's talk about the New Madrid seismic zone. The earthquake of January 23rd, 1812. The event was the smallest of three principal earthquakes. A main shock occurred 9.15 in the morning with a magnitude 7.5. The location of the Earth epicenter controversial, but it's thought that uh, it was located in the vicinity of New Madrid, Missouri, along a fault that runs perpendicular to the real foot fault. No appreciable damage to residents was reported, but landscape changes did take place, similar to those that occurred during the December 16 event are thought to have taken place. Then there was an earthquake on February 7th, 2018, just about uh, 10 days later. The uh, February 7th quake matched or exceeded the strength of the December 16 event, whose epicenter was also located near New Madrid, Missouri. That took place 3.45 a.m. and resulted in the destruction of New Madrid. Structural damage also occurred in St. Louis, Missouri. Now, there were a lot fewer people living out there, of course, at that time. The possible causes of the New Madrid earthquakes. Over the past four and a half thousand years, a number of major quakes, magnitude seven to eight, did occur on the New Madrid seismic zone. The events include clusters of large earthquakes that have been dated to 2350 BC, 900 AD, and 1450 AD. The region also experienced two large earthquakes since 1812, one in Charleston, Missouri, October 31st of 1895, which was magnitude 7.9, and one located near, near Lepanto, Arkansas, January 5th, 1843, magnitude 7.6. The causes of New Madrid earthquakes are not well understood, and a number of hypotheses have been posited to explain why they occur so far from the tectonic plate boundary. Okay, here they're talking about the tectonic plate boundary, but we just showed you the that there is uh, magma under there, okay? And we especially the U-shaped, uh, like the horseshoe-shaped thing over the Great Lakes. Nobody talks about that. Now, other scholars maintain that the weaken weakening of the Earth's crust in the area is caused by downcutting of the Mississippi River between 10,000 and 16,000 years ago. But again, uh, it's, a, it's New Madrid seismic zone is a fell, failed rift area, a rift valley. So please be, all of you, please be very careful there. And make, sure, make sure that you know that earthquakes do take place there and that there's a lot more shaking on the East Coast than we have on the West Coast. Thank you for your support and please leave your comments. Thank you.